Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty and today I have a yarn review of a new Big Twist yarn. Big Twist Glam. Look at the bling, 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 bling. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deal steals and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Um, so this is one of three Big Twist yarns that have been released in the past couple weeks here. Um, this one has a very pleasant price point of $4.99. So pro tip here, uh, you can use your 40, 50, or 60% off uh, Joann's coupon on this as long as it's already not on sale. Very affordable. $2.50 for this? $4.99 regular price? Jiminy, with the price of yarn lately, this is a steal of a deal. Um, let me just read some of the specs off for you. It is a 61% acrylic and a 39% polyester. It's called Big Twist Glam. 261 yards or 240 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. It is hand wash cold, dry flat. So it's a hand wash scenario, but with the, um, sequins in here, I would just default to hand wash because it's going to get caught on everything. Um, and it is recommending a 4.5 millimeter needle or a 5.5 millimeter hook. It is a four weight, which I disagree with. Um, I believe this is a three weight, a DK. That is not a four as far as I'm concerned. Um, let me grab, what do I have handy? This one. This is a Super Saver, a Red Heart Super Saver. So we're just gonna hold these up next to each other. Um, the purple is a Super Saver. The yellow is the Big Twist Glam. Not a four, folks. That's even on the light side of a three. Yeah. Okay, then. Fun times there. Okay. Um, it's pretty soft. The sequins are decently sized, but not too big. I don't feel it when I like rub it against my cheek, the sequins. Um, and as you can see, it's plied with a kind of shiny thread around the plied yarn. And that is what the sequins are attached to. And these come in like very bright colors, not bright, but very like cheery colors for lack of a better term. Uh, I will link my video down below where I showed you all three of the new Big Twist yarns. Uh, one of Another one of those I will be doing a review on very shortly, probably this week. Um, but let me turn the camera around and we're gonna work up a swatch and I'll give you my feelings about this. What do you think? Are you a fan of sequins in your yarn? Let me know down below. Okay, see you in a second. So we have our big twist glam and the recommended hook size on this was a 5.5. So that's what I'm going to be using. This is from one of my favorite sets I've gotten off Amazon. Uh, if you haven't checked out my crochet review playlist, please do so. I believe I'm on hook review 18 at this point. I love reviewing crochet hooks. It makes me happy. Um, okay. So we're going to start working on this glam. Let's find the end. I mean, I do really love the sequins and this shiny thread that moves on the outside. Oh, that makes me happy. Here we go. Here's the end. As you can see here, it's plied. This is the piece. Ooh, interesting. So the shiny thing is three pieces of thread. The oh. The glittery, the like shiny piece is three pieces of thread. One, two, three. And then the plied piece is three pieces of yarn. And it looks like it is two of the yellow. You can see there it's two of the yellow and one white. So that is what makes up this yarn's construction. Now, if I undo this. How hard is it to take this off? Oh, 
Oh, that's not budging, so the sequin isn't going to slide right off. Not budging at all. All right, I'm going to start working up a swatch now. So that's good that the sequin doesn't move, even if that is uh, uh, untwisted. I couldn't think of the word untwisted there, but I couldn't. Alrighty, let's go in a little bit more. Boop. Boop. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I can feel the sequins there a little bit. I don't know. They're not like super rough. They're a little bit rough, but it's not super rough. Oops. Come on, I can. I don't know if I would go with this hook size for this yarn. I feel like it needs to go down a half a size at least. I don't know what that noise is. Perhaps one of the kids is up. Okay. Weird. Okay. <laughs> Back to the yarn review. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I like the the sequins are spaced out enough so that they're not like right on top of each other, if that makes sense. Ooh. They are getting caught a little bit on my hook, but I'm also kind of trying really hard to keep it in frame and whatnot. I don't know if once I get chugging on a project, if it would get caught up or not. I'm thinking probably not. Okay, the yarn itself is pretty soft. If we just talk about that without bringing the sequins into play. Yeah, that's really pretty. Good job, Big Twist. That's all I have to say on that. Now we're gonna do some half double crochets here. But definitely for that price point of $4.99 and the ability to stack a coupon on top of that, I'm definitely going to be going back and getting a few more of these at that price. I found a um, pattern on the Premier website that I like for a little shawlette that I'm going to make this into. I'm wondering if I can do it with one cake. Even if I needed two cakes, if I use a 50% or better coupon, it's still only $5 for the shawlette. Come on, for a yarn with sequins? I don't think I, you can beat that anywhere. It's going to be hard. So it is getting a little bit caught up on that um, white three thread thing that is around the outside. It's not getting caught up on the sequins. It's getting caught up on that little piece, like just like that, that's around it. If that makes sense. FYI. The sequins are kind of tickling my hand. <laughs> That's more of a personal issue. Though. <laughs> but I definitely think for the price point, this yarn is totally worth it. Check out the Shop With Me video if you want to see the full amount of colors this line comes in. And I'm not usually a person ever that gravitates to yellow yarn. I mean, I literally barely have any yellow yarn in my stash. But this one, it was just calling to me. I do not know why. I'm not usually drawn to the color yellow. <laughs> but just the gold with the white and the yellow just made me think like happy summer vibes. Happy, happy summer. What would you guys make out of this yarn? Let me know down below. Uh, this yarn is also available now on the Joann's website. 
Uh, the first week after I did the shop with me, it was not, but now I have many reports that it is. So if you don't have a Joann's right near you, go and check that out. As always, coupons, coupons, coupons. <laughs> now I can kind of start to feel the sequins a little. Oops. This is what yarn bowls are for, which I own like a bunch of, but just didn't grab one. Nope. Yeah, it's definitely getting caught up a little bit on that white. Well, maybe I use a less pointy. This, this hook here is pretty pointy right there. Maybe use something a little bit duller. It might be better. Not sure. Now we're just going to do a row of trebles to see how that fares. Okay. Oh, it's getting caught up quite a bit on the trebles. This may be a yarn that just works better for more simple stitches. Oh, yep, we're caught up again. Oop. Almost done with this swatch. Oops. Operator error. Do that again. Sorry. My hook slipped out of the stitch. That was not the yarn's fault. Ah! Lord. So yeah, so far I'd say I'm moderately happy with this yarn. It is a little bit fiddly. Like I said, it's getting caught on that white thread. Um, the price point is fan freaking fabulous, given the rise in yarn costs lately. So good job, big twist on that. Especially for something that's got sequins. Can't say that enough times. Seriously. One other thing I wish they did was put up more patterns on their website. They don't have a lot of patterns. But that's when you use the Ravelry uh, advanced search function, right? Or feature. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're done with our swatch. Did I skip a stitch there? Don't mind me, I skipped a stitch here. <laughs> um, so this is what our swatch looks like. I like the, um, oops, sorry about that. I like the spacing of the sequins. It's not too many. Like, it's not super busy. It's just enough little bling. Ah, this is how we frog. Let's see. Oh, that's a getting caught up on the sequins there. One of them got caught up. Doody do do do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There you go. Okay, it's getting caught up a little bit, but it's frogging better than I thought it was going to given the sequence. Oops. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, so yeah, out of a 10, I definitely give this a couple extra points just for the price point. But I think I'd give this a 6 out of 10. A little fiddly, so you're not going to be able to work that quickly on it. But it gets a couple bonus points because of the price. So that is my review of Big Twist Glam. 
let me know down below if you're excited about this or what color you're thinking of picking up. And ha ha please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty too. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.